In this video, I'm be talking about a huge market crash that is coming this week in NBA 2K22, my team. And honestly, just talking about a market crash that's here right now and what you guys should be doing with your squad. Should you guys be selling? Should you guys be buying? And just talking about the future of the market in general. As you guys know, last Friday, we did get these new origin packs, right? These new origin packs that did have all these dark matters. And the main one we want to talk about is going to be this Magic Johnson obviously super overpowered card and he was the start of these end game players that now means that every single friday drop we're probably gonna get these new end game like lebron jordan's mag or not magics but you know what i mean jordan lebron's Giannis, kobe's bull bull all these super overpowered cards i think the market's just going to continue to crash over the next couple weeks and months also guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think we're gonna get this friday and let me know which end game cards you guys think are coming next looking at magic johnson here he's actually kind of down in price he's like 1.5 million mt looking at uh, obviously will chamberlain he came out yesterday and all of these hero cards are actually pretty expensive right now so guys this friday i think there's gonna be a pretty big market crash and honestly there is a decent market crash happening right now it's not a massive one luke is still around 2 million mt but this is for actually uh this is for a souped one so maybe the market is down a little bit that's just one card though looking at Kawhi leonard he's going to be around the same price tag i want to check like the taco falls i want to check the bull bulls taco that is going to be for a maxed out taco 700 000 mt so tacos around the same price maybe down in price a little bit the market is a little bit lower than than it normally is you can get a bull bull for like under 230 around 200,000 mt for a bull bull card like that's very good value for a bull card looking at um juan hernan gomez that's the card i want to look at next how much is he going for because i know he was really expensive for a while yeah he's still like 300k man that's not even souped up too that's a base one and he's almost 350k that is kind of crazy man the market's actually kind of low and kind of high at the same time I will say the market's very hard to predict right now. It's kind of going up, then it's going down. The same thing for this hero set. It's mainly just due to this hero set with the end game Will Chamberlain. It kind of just threw the market like all over the place. Some, some cards are super expensive. Some cards are super cheap. But the thing I want to talk about guys in this video, I talked about it a little bit in my how to prepare for season eight. There is going to be eight days left in the season, right? I think if you guys have like all the game modes completed, if you guys have like clutch time completed, you got your Fernando Martin, if you guys have grinded for unlimited, and let's say you've got your Michael Finley, what I'd recommend doing guys is probably selling most of your expensive cards and then just keeping the free cards on your lineup. For example, if you guys look at my squad, like I would sell guys like Luka Doncic, uh, Taco Fall, Yao Ming, and maybe Kareem. I would keep guys like Lonzo and then keep all my free cards. You can still have a very good squad, for example, if I put Lonzo over Luka, let's say I put Bob Nedelecki over Kareem, I put Fernando over Malik Sealy, and then I had like Manute Bull, right? Because I think he's a very easy, not a very easy center to get, but he's going to be a relatively easy center to get. And for example, that could be my starting lineup, and I can have a decent bench as well, or maybe keep Yao Ming as like a bench center. But what I'm saying is, I would probably recommend selling all of your expensive cards right now, just due to the fact that I think season eight is going to be where the market just literally crashes and is going to be super low. Because you guys got to think about it like this. We're, gonna, we're probably going to get one to two endgame cards for every single Friday for the rest of the year. And we're almost in July. So this game is like we're in endgame. We're like halfway through endgame. Like we're getting through endgame. Now we're going to start seeing endgame LeBron, Jordan. These are basically go cards from last year. So if you guys have completed all these game modes like Unlimited and Clutch Time, I would probably recommend selling all of your expensive cards, just accumulating as much MT as possible, and then just buy all the cards you want in Season 8 because there's obviously going to be a massive market crash because we all know Season 8, we're going to get some really cool roar cards, and we're also probably going to get like an Endgame Jordan or an Endgame LeBron to headline Season 8. If you guys still need to grind for Unlimited or grind for Clutch Time, obviously that's perfectly fine you can keep your squad i'm just saying for me personally i've completed clutch time i've completed unlimited i'm just sitting here doing nothing all day i'm not even playing the game anymore really so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna sell luka Doncic. i'm gonna sell yao ming i'm gonna sell my taco fall because i'm just not playing the game anymore until season eight so that's what i'd recommend you guys do talking about when you guys should be selling or buying your teams I would say right now is not the best time to sell but there's also going to be a massive market crash coming this friday with maybe some new like next content which which if you guys don't know what that means next content it's going to be rookies like chet holgram um holgram i think it's to pronounce his last name paulo banchero Jaden ivy 
Jalen Duran, all these different rookie cards. We might get that content on Thursday or Friday, and that's going to be a very overpowered set. We might also see guys like Endgame Cade and Endgame Zion, maybe some rookies that get Endgame cards. It's going to be a very good content drop. And if we don't see the next promo, I think we'll see out of position two. And I think we'll see GOAT LeBron or Endgame LeBron, whatever you want to call them. I think we might see Giannis or LeBron as an Endgame card. So I think Friday, the market's going to crash like crazy. So I'd probably recommend selling your teams right now. It is Wednesday, which is not a bad time to sell. Wednesday is always a decent time to sell. It's never the best time. I think Tuesday or Monday is probably the better time to sell. But if you guys want to prepare for the market crash, and like I said, you want to sell some of your expensive cards, right now is definitely not the worst time to do so. I want to check some of these invincible cards prices. Yeah, they're going to be a little bit low right now. I want to see guys like Giannis. Can't really tell what he is going for. How much is Ben Simmons? Can we see how much he's going for? No, we can't. A lot of these cards, it's hard to tell their prices. Because for example, like there's hours left. Cream is actually a bit up in price. So if you guys maybe want to sell your sell your cream and then just pick up the hero one you definitely could do so and then if you guys are looking to buy any some if you guys are looking to buy any cards i would probably wait till the next season honestly if you guys are looking to buy any of these expensive cards like taco falls like bull bulls or any of these invincible cards i would probably just wait till season eight wait till season eight day number one day number two season eight because the market's going to crash like crazy and a lot of these expensive cards are going to be fairly cheap so guys, let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think is going to happen with the market? And let me know what you guys think is coming this Friday for the new promo on Friday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.